Last time on Total Pokemon Action, I was able to set up a wireless hotspot in a hatbox in my studio's prop room. Would you like to go out with me? No. Castform, calm down. No! It wasn't Castform. Aw, thanks, Hallie up Tile. That's why you're my boyfriend. Excuse me? You told me yesterday I wasn't even your friend. How am I possibly your boyfriend today? Go. Did, did we ever confirm that he can live in lava? The bottom two, Venonat and Sigliff. The final ticket goes to Venonat. What will happen next? Find out on this episode of Total Pokemon Action. Pokemon! It's a battle, win or lose. It's the friends you make, it's the road you choose. We got the right stuff, so make your mind up. Find the courage inside of you. If you're strong, you'll survive and you'll keep your dream alive. It's the battle frontier. Pokemon, be the best you can be and find your destiny. It's the master plan. The power's in your hand. Pokemon. You've got the strength to win it, so stay in it. If you're smart, you can take it all. If you're strong, you'll survive and you'll keep your dream alive. It's the battle frontier. Pokemon, be the best you can be and find your destiny. It's the master plan. It's the master plan. The power's in your hand. Pokemon. I'm sorry, would you please just forgive me, Glycar? I'm going to walk you through why I'm so angry, because apparently your very, very small brain is not grasping it. Up on that mountain, you lied to me. You temporarily destroyed my love for you. You told me that you were in love with some other girl just to make me mad. Then you told me I didn't matter and made me so agitated that I nearly killed you. You put me through all of that for a challenge. I know what I did, and I'm not proud of any of that, but I didn't just do it for the challenge. I did it to save Pete Moore's life. If you wouldn't have made everything snowy, then Zangus wouldn't have been able to pull him out of the magma. I thought making you mad at me was worth preventing Heatmore from melting. Guys, you may want to go see Heatmore. Yeah, go Glygar. Listen to your girlfriend. Gasform, you should probably go see him too. Fine. Whoa, Phoebus, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Nothing. You know this isn't your studio, right? You know this isn't your studio either, right? We're on the same team. Right. So we're both trespassing. Yeah, uh, let's go. I don't want us to get caught. You go first. You go first. No, you go first. No! Why are we screaming? I don't know, it's a bad idea considering we're on someone else's property during the middle of the night. Shh, fine. Obviously there's a reason you're here, and a reason I'm here. Say why you're down here in three, two, one, go. You really thought I'd fall for that? Worth a shot. What are your guys here for? Yeah, kibble, what's that about? Shh, this guy, just gonna... Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> look at look at that wall. That's a crazy wall. Look, Heatmore's up. Are you just not going to say anything, Gibble? Sorry, I was just recovering from being run over by that bus you just threw me under. We're not mad as long as you tell us what you're doing here. Fine. I'll tell you. Listen to me. Leave me alone. No, stop. You like what I'm about to say. Wait, Perloine, if it's important, I should let you know that Turtwig is right behind you. I know. You know? Yep, you can come in. Hey, Turtoga. I swear you guys are about to start snapping in unison and circling me. We want to call a truce and add you to our alliance. Why would I do that? You're Perloine and Turtwig. We know you'd be good at getting information for us, so we'd like you to join the team. What makes you think I'd be good at getting any information for you two? And since when was this an alliance? I thought you guys were a couple. That was just a fallacy. A fib. A lie. That makes it sound like we were dishonest. You were. It was a lie. You guys must be really sure I'll join this alliance considering the information you're revealing to me. It's too bad, however, that I'll tell everyone that you're liars and I won't be joining your alliance. Fine, Tritoga. Or should I say, Frosty? What? What? That's right. I know that you played Frosty the Tritoga in the Legends of the Sea. So don't even try it. You're an actor? How did you know that was me? I have my ways. So, since we know your dirty little secret, Ready to join us? What makes it bad that I'm an actor? Why should I be afraid of you telling my team? If they find out you're an actor, they'll have trouble believing anything you say, right? So you ready to join? Fine. Don't sound so depressed about it. We're not evil. We're on your side. It's just an alliance. We're not villains. The more you talk, the harder it is for me to believe that. So, to be honest, I don't really think anyone would be mad if they found out I was an actor, but I guess it's nice having another alliance to depend on. So, like, are we dating or not? No! No, we are not dating! But, like, you defended me today. I know. And I regret it. Wow. Rude. Rude? I'm rude. I tried to be your friend on the Titanic, and then you rejected me. And then you tried to kill me. That's only kind of true. How? Oh. 
Okay, it's it's totally, totally true. But but then you admitted that you would have killed me first. Yeah, but then I said you were my boyfriend. I was trying to be nice. But you didn't tell me about it. You just told it like everyone else. And then I defended you in the cave. Yeah, but then you yelled at me for saying we could date. You're fat and consistent. I'm inconsistent? That's what I said, is that not? Yesterday you hated me. Today you said we were dating. It doesn't get much more inconsistent than that. Fine, well you got out with me. What? Since you're not cool with me dating you without you knowing about it, I might as well date you when you do know about it. So why you got out with me? Yes! Oh my gosh, you evolved. Hey Turtwig, I have some words for you. You and Perloin aren't really dating. Excuse me, of course we are. Then how come I heard you say that it was a lie? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I heard you guys. Maybe it was Gligar. He kinda sounds like me. So does Barboche. Now, Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot, would you stop eating the sheet broth? Sorry. <clears throat> you, Perloin, and Tertoga were standing outside in the area between the two studios when Mawile overheard. Thank you, Hoot Hoot. Turtwig, you've been Mawiled. So if you heard it, you also heard that Tertoga's an actor. That doesn't matter. What does matter is that you've been lying. Whoa, what's going on? Remoraid, we need to talk. Okay. How's he doing? We've yet to decide if he'll make it or not. He's gonna die, you guys! Don't listen to them. They're crazy and stupid. Heatmore's fine. We're only crazy and stupid. Exactly what I said. I know you are, but what am I? <gasps> Burn! Why are you all here? We came to check on you. How you feeling? Great. I love getting severely burned. Really? Well, this worked out nicely then. Can you please make her go? Mudkip, Sveal, leave. But I'm his friend. Go! Alright, well, I'm happy you're at least feeling better. Yeah, we're really sorry for the whole throwing him in a volcano thing. I don't care. I'm gonna go. Wait, not yet. Don't tell me what to do. Hey, there's no reason you should be mad at me. I wasn't in on the lie. And about that, I don't want to be associated with you again, Gligar. What? Me? Yeah, you pulled me into that lie without my consent, and I'm not okay with it. Stay away from me. Whoa. She's right, though. You shouldn't have done that. Need I remind you that I didn't mention that you were the one that slammed me into that chair? Can we just call it even? We could have... Except you just told Heatmore. I really couldn't care any less, don't worry. So you won't tell anyone else? Not a soul. If you leave the room. What? Get out. Okay. What just happened? I don't know, but it horrified me. What did you hear? Nothing. What? I didn't hear anything. I saw. Wait, you saw the Vigroths? Yeah. I heard the Vigros. Oh, so we need to figure out who was saying what. I saw Churchwick and Mawile. Mawile was talking about really weird stuff, like about Tertoga. Wait, do you think that Mawile and Hoot Hoot saw and heard our team? Primary, this is big. I heard everything on the Terrakai team. What? Me too, in episode two. What? Meet me in the central area. Bring the three that met you in the prop room. What? Uh, okay. I'm telling you guys, I've seen some crazy skanks in my day, and I really think that cast form is one of them. I'm pretty sure she's the one that did that to Glagar. Does it matter? Yeah, kind of. We don't want her to stay here. Why not? She can't hurt our team by abusing her teammates. But if she makes it to merge, we're screwed. Tortoga, I need you. Excuse me? Come here. Hey, Hoodoo, can I steal you for a second? Thanks. Remoraid, what are you doing over here? No, an enemy run! Smiggle, yeah, okay, it's just Remoraid. What's up? We need you to come with us. Okay. There they are! Gibble Phoebus, we need you guys to meet us at the gate outside the lot. Do you think it's a trap? What kind of trap? Maybe they know stuff about our team and they're gonna beat us up outside where there aren't any witnesses. Get out of my room. What makes you think this is your room? I'm dying in it and I can't move. It's my room. We don't have anywhere else to go. Can you at least make Mag believe? Hey, Volabai, come here. Is it about the thing? Yes. Okay. We come wielding spatulas. Spatulas? Mine's a whisk. This is awkward. Here they come, and they have an army. Hello, guys. We have cooking utensils. Are you guys here to beat us up? What? No. The eight of us went through the same experience. All of us were able to either see or hear the other team one night. We need an alliance, and we need to confess everything. Confess everything? Is that really a good idea? Yes, think about it. We could have eight of us being totally honest with each other, and all of us would always be one step ahead of the game. That would be awesome. I don't get it. Why do we have to meet all the way out here? So the Purloin and Turtwig, the super stalkers, don't mess with us. Speaking of which, Tertoga, I've been informed that you're in an alliance with them. Speaking of stalkers, there's something you guys need to know about one of your teammates. Looks like we've got a lot to cover. That's it, you two. Whoa, you're mad at us? Bergbite saved you yesterday. No, mad isn't the right word, but I'm through not knowing what's happening. Yesterday was my boiling point. Azuril, should we tell her? But what if she freaks out and breaks up with him? He'll flip out. You're right. Fine. We'll tell you, but you have to promise us that you won't break up with him because of it. Fine. Here it goes. Aaron, 
is standing right behind you. Hey, Aaron. Hey, you guys, what's up? Aaron, one of the lights in the prop room is out. Can you come help me? Isn't that more along the lines of Pikachu's job? Oh, you know Pikachu. He'd just make us do it for him. Okay. Remember, Swaddle, when the ring comes, I want you to act surprised so they'll be willing to throw you a shower. You got it. Save me. Let's go. I'll explain it somewhere private. Let me get this straight. Heliotile plotted a legitimate murder against Finanat? Yes. I'm more hung up on the fact that Perloin and Churchwick were lying. Well, and that Gligar lied too. Mirak just called it, she thought Castrom was crazy. So just to be clear, no one's mad that I kept me being an actor's secret, right? That doesn't bother me. What does is that Aaron is a confirmed stalker. What? There, I said it. Aaron is a stalker? Yes. As in, he stalks me? Yeah, kind of. This was his way of getting to you. Big of the show. That's a bad thing. But here's the thing. If you break up with him, he'll full-own kamikaze, destroying himself just to destroy you, me, and Bergbite. So basically, you're sending me into a constant battleground. But you'll have an army, okay? All of us are here to back you up and protect you. New pact. Bullaby, Mawile, Ribberay, Hoot Hoot. If we lose, will you vote Ara just to make sure he's eliminated? Of course. Absolutely. No problem. For sure. That gives us seven. We need three more to make sure we'll get about. I'll handle that. Final ten alliance? I'm in. 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 Let's do this. Welcome, Final 35. Today's challenge will be based off the movie Scream. There are two mansions. One of them will contain all of the Terrakines except for one. The other will contain all of the Vigroths except for one. The one outlier of each team will be the murderer in the other team's mansion. If the killer is able to tag you, you are forced to lie dead on the ground. If you move or speak voluntarily once you're dead, the other team will automatically win. The first killer to kill all of his victims wins for their team, and the losing team will go to elimination. Let's begin. The serial killers will be released in three, two, one, go. Well, isn't this convenient? If by convenient you mean awkward, then yes. The first thing we need to do is to figure out who the killer is from the other team. Help! I think we may be in luck. You must really love this challenge, huh? Alright, Inke, since episode two, I've been freaking out that you may know my secret. Do you? I thought I already told you. You really think I'm going to fall for that trick? When you say you already know just so I'll talk about it? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want you to talk about it, but I want you to know what I have over you. You're using it as blackmail? Of course not. I'm not threatening you, and I'm not tricking you. I'm warning you. Whatever it is you fear I know, I know. Prove it. 632 Charcoal Drive, 2013, June 23rd. Ring a bell? I just hope the pretend killer comes right into this room and cuts you up into a million little pieces. Why couldn't you just do that? After all, it wouldn't be news. What's that supposed to mean? Durant, you're toxic fruit on this team, slowly killing our tree. Shrivel up and die. If I'm a poisonous fruit, bite me. What is it? We heard you scream. There's a four-legged creature in that corner. Yes. A table. What? It's a table. Huh? The four-legged creature is a table. It's a table? It's a table. Oh, I see. Sorry about that. Look, a severed head. Who is that? Heliolisk. Oh, that makes sense. Yep, we're in a basement. What if the killer's in here with us? I have an idea. If you're the killer, say hi. Nope, we're okay. Who was in here? Aaron. Ariana Grande. Bergmite. And Rimmeraid. Should we look for the stairs? Wait, I bet there's some stuff we could use to defend ourselves down here. You two girls, go find some candles or maybe a lamp. Bergmite and I can stay down here. Gotcha. See? Why does you got the severed head? From the fridge. There were also some strawberries. Want one? Were then near the head. In it. Kinky. Okay, so if I know serial killers, and I think I do, we need to run upstairs. Wouldn't that just trap us up there? Hun, I have seen enough movies to know that when you're being chased by a killer, you run up the stairs. Why don't we just run out of the front door? The killer always locks the door. How? He could only lock us in if he was outside, and if he was outside, we'd be safe. Child, I don't direct the movies, I just watch them. Where are we? I think we're in the attic. It's really hot up here. How do we get down? Well, maybe you could build a saw out of lies and cut- Build a saw out of what? Lies. And then cut out a square. Then you can make a ladder out of lies, and we can- Are you saying lies? Lies, yes, yes. Then, then we'd climb down the lie ladder that you made with your lies. Settle. Thank you. Or we could just use this ladder over here made out of wood, not lies. Mawile, can I ask you something? Yeah, what is it, liar? Liar? I said friend. None of us are totally innocent of a few white lies. I can find quite some dirt on you if necessary, and I'm not afraid to do it. How do you think you could do that? That's ridiculous. I may or may not have a way to check pretty much everything about you. 
but no big deal. Okay, so on our way over to the set, I was thinking, should we barricade ourselves in a room and just stay there quietly? That would buy our team's murderer a ton of time. Speaking of which, who do you guys think is our murderer? It's none of us, and that's all that matters. I just want to know who their murderer is. If we figure out, we'll be able to manipulate them way better. Do any of you guys volunteer to look out and see if you see anyone? I'll do it. Hey, Gumi, are you good at relationship stuff? Not really, why? I just wanted some advice. About? I think I have a thing for Tertoga. Tertoga? Why? I don't know. Him being an actor just kind of drew me to him. What do you think? I mean, it's up to you. Here's the problem. I've never actually had a boyfriend. Okay? Have you ever asked a guy out? Like 19 times. I'm not pretty enough for Tertoga. If he says no because of the way you look, let me know. I'll kill him. <laughs> Thanks. But what's Tertoga, Gibble, Perlman, and Smeargler out there? I think we should just stay in here. I agree. Hey, you guys. Okay, so no matter what, we stick together, okay? No. It's okay, Mudkip. I'll stay with you. Aw, thank you, Sphiel. What should we do to get away from the killer? Why don't we ask Wingle? What do you mean? Wingle's on the other team. Then why is he over here? He's standing right behind you. Hi. He's the murderer! Run! No, stop! Ugh. Oh, gosh. What? We've got stupid Relicomp and Golet. They can hear you. Okay, Golet can hear you. Just because they're different doesn't mean they're useless. I'm sure they both have their strengths. Well, Relicomp is good at throwing. Really? That surprises me. He doesn't have hands. Oh, excuse me. He's good at being thrown. I don't know about Golat, though. Well, let's ask him. Golat, what are your specialties? I can't answer you like that. Didn't Barbo say he'd only respond to whispers or something? Hello. Hello. I think he's talking to us. What are your special talents, Golat? I sure will. What? This is creeping me out. Golat, speak to us. Of course I can make that happen. Thank you. Zubat, Tyrant... You guys need to go to the closet on the bottom floor. What? Why? He's trusting us enough to finally listen to him. Let's respect it. Whatever. Do you want us to take Relicomp? Do you? No. Don't take Relicomp. Okay. Really? Why, Pikachu? All three of you need to leave. Heemore, we're staying with you so you're safe. Yes, because you did such a great job with me last time. Ooh, shots fired! Ooh, you're one of the ones that dropped him in the lava, too. Ooh, that... That's true. I'm gonna go because I hate all of you right now. What do you have against me? You freaked out on both of us. I was there too. Run, you guys! Wingle's the murderer! This is bad! He's not even here. Then where'd he go? We need to get downstairs. Being upstairs isn't safe because you never have a way to run. So, do we know who the killer is here yet? It's Hoot Hoot. How do you know? Because Hoot Hoot's right there. We need to go. Where? We're upstairs and he's too close to the staircase for us to make it down. Jump over the railing! Okay. Yes! Are you crazy? I'm not jumping off of that thing. We're like 20 feet up. Just calm down. Okay. We can do it, Smeargle. Does he see us yet? No, he's trying to get into a different door. Jump in three, two, one. Jump! Guys, I can't do it! Smeargle, he sees you. You have to jump. But I'm afraid. Not to alarm you or anything, but he's coming towards you. What? No! Yes, no. Yeah, I did it, and I evolved in the very process. Smeargle, are you okay? Wait, don't talk. Remember what Pikachu said. Once the killer tagged you, you can't move or talk, or else we lose. So why did you want Mary and Magby to leave? Is there something we need to talk about? Yes. I'm not okay with the way you and Azuril are butting in my arranged marriage with Sawaddle. Listen, you told me and you told Azuril the first day that you're a certified stalker. The fact that I kept it a secret this long is pretty loyal if you ask me. Even though it's not a secret. So I will butt in whenever I feel there is a butt needed. What are you saying? I'm saying I'm a butt when I want a butt. That's not fair. How is that not fair? I could get you eliminated right now. Bergmite? Are you there? Yes. We found the breaker box in the closet. I got them to go into the closet downstairs. Thank you. And a chance to let me tag you? Sure. You're too well, I can't. Much better. <coughs> Magby? We're done. Sorry. They're dead. Fake dead right before our eyes. This is awful. I wonder who the killer is. Whoever it is, they left really fast. Unless they're still down here. We need to leave. Wait, there's someone coming down here. Hey, you guys. I'm leaving. What was that about? Apparently we've got some bad blood now. Why? Just a misunderstanding. Don't worry. Why exactly are we going in this closet? I don't know, to be perfectly honest, but here we are. Whoa, I found the breaker box. Don't touch it. Where's your sense of adventure? I never had one. Don't push anything. But I wanna. No. I'ma do it. No! You can't stop me. Tyrant, I'm getting closer. This isn't funny. <gasps> am I gonna push it? Or am I not gonna push it? Tyrant! I pushed it. Hello, guys. Who is that? Tyra? No, I'm out of here. Guys, do you think maybe we should just stay in the attic? The killer wouldn't look up here. She's not wrong. There are a ton of boxes here, too. If we hid in them, we'd never get spotted. Let's do it. Why did it just get dark? 
because the lights turned off. What a stupid question. Then and not whatever happens to you, I want you to know that I love you. Wait, what? You two are dating? Yeah, that's how I evolved. We're such a power couple. Guys, what if the killer finds us here? He can't find us. It's dark. I just realized something. If it's dark, that means we can't see. Right? I just noticed that. Right? That's bad. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes it is. Fortunately, it's pretty dark in most prisons, but that's just because they always turn off the lights in my cell. Why? I don't want to get sunburned, plus the radiation from the lights could kill me. I don't think either of those things are possible. Well, it's usually because they turn them off as a punishment for me stealing the forklift and ramming it into the wall, killing 83 people. That's happened more than once. What? No! The first and third times kill 92 people. Why didn't Pikachu let you be our team serial killer? Alright, I'm looking around and I don't see much. All I see is dead Smeargle and Knocked Owl standing over the corpse of Tyrant. Knocked Owl? Wait, but Knocked Owl is on our team. So I said other hair. Think, Togepi, think. Maybe he needed to borrow some eggs. I know there must be a good reason. We're just forgetting. Maybe he's lost. Knocked Owl, here are your eggs. Oh, wait, I know this one. I know this one. He's here because he's the murderer. Oh, that's right. So correct me if I'm wrong, but we should run, right? I think that would be best. I think we're safe in here, Sveal. I think you're right. Good thing Wingo made it in here, too. What? Right there. <gasps> oh no, we're unfortunately unobservant. Finally. This is stupid. What made our power go out? Guys, there's something on this wall. What is it? An insanely long number. It's probably not important. How can you even see it? It's engraved. I can feel it. Guys, I know who the killer is. Who? I think it's Noctowl. I just heard his voice through the vent. Well, that's bad. Why? I don't think he's very smart. We're in the dark and he's an owl. He can see better than all of us. Wait. Gumi? I think Noctowl's in here. Run! Hey, you fool. Would it be inhumane to body slam him? Yes. Okay. He was dead though. He touched Wingle. Just run. Hello? No. Ow! Give up. What the heck? How'd you know it was me? I'm a bat. This didn't change anything for me. So we know the killer's knocked out, right? Yeah, that's confirmed. It scares me that he can see in the dark and fly. He seems a little OP if you ask me. We need to reunite with some other teammates. Hey, you guys. Oh! Per Lawrence, or Tarragak, Jabal, and Barbout. Sorry, friends. I have had quite a long day as a murderer, so can any of you guys just, like, let me tag you? J just one of you. I'll let the rest of you go, but I just got tackled by an anteater. Here, take her. Vula bye. That was rude. Why? Now she's forced to shut up. And if she talks, we lose. And then we vote her out. It's a win-win, really. Please don't hate me, but... Wingo, you're on the list. So are the four of us still alive? I'm fairly certain I'm still alive. I'm pretty sure. How would I know? Hold your breath for a long time. If you pass out, you're alive. Okay. I'm pretty sure we should go upstairs now. I think going up into a room where being trapped is inevitable and climbing up a tall structure in the pitch black dark while running from a murderer that can see in the dark is our best option. You're a genius. For real. Let's go. Burp. So wait, how was I supposed to remember Aaron before this? Apparently he sent you cards or something. Ew, those were from him. Barf. I'm not okay with this, you know. With what? Being in a box with a liar. Do you have an inside voice? No, she doesn't. Wingo? Oh dear. We need to go. I'm pretty sure Noctowl's chasing Zubat. Okay, let's go. Look, a closet. What is this thing? What thing? This passcode entry. I don't know. Pikachu said this was a mansion. Maybe it's like a safe room or something. But what's the code? 72830907442127863095244493. How'd you do that? Eidetic memory. Told ya. We meet again. Yep, and this time you're not getting away. Go. Cast for me, got cast for him. Doesn't matter. Where's Venon at? What? I don't know. She didn't say anything after you told her to hold her breath. She must have been too focused on not breathing to run for her life. Don't you hate it when that happens? Sorry, you three. Who is that? Tech of death. Ryan Gosling. It's knocked out. Was I close? Only five of them left. Oh. Hi. Hi. Before you kill me, I could give you some pointers. When the victim comes around a corner and meets the killer like I just did, you need to not say anything and just stay still. It's really creepy. Really? Okay, I'll try it. Actually, actually can you go like back around the corner and reach your entrance? Yeah, sure. Ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Oh. Hey, Wingle. Okay, yeah, that was perfect. Thank you. Uh, now you know I have to kill you, right? Oh, of course. Feebass Electric, let me in. Hurry. Noctowl's right behind me. And there you are. Made it. We won. How do you know? We're the only three left alive on our team, and Noctowl can't get here unless he knows the code. No, he's coming back up here. Just be quiet. He won't look at here. There you are. Wait, before you tag us, um, I have a suggestion about your entrance. What? Yeah, yeah, just a few pointers. I heard Durant give you some downstairs, and he's right. So instead of saying something like, there you are, it needs to be a bit more intimidating. Yeah, Zero's right. You know, take charge. Yeah, go try again. Um, uh, okay. 
Booyah. Couple to your Kaya killer work faster. It's just a waiting game now. But we're invincible here. Hey, who turned out the lights in the first place? Tyrant. And you're done for. W was that any better? Yeah, I, I think so. Well, I have to do it now. <gasps> what is that? Is it Relicomp? Relicomp, despite being dead, you just spoke. That means that the Vigroths win. Seriously? Yes, it worked. Welcome, Turkayans. There are 17 of you. I have 16 tickets. The first five tickets go to... Phoebus. Electric. Zubat. Gumi. And Barvoach. Also competing in episode five is Gibble, as well as Maractus, along with Tertoga, and Togepi. Next safe, Golette and Smeargle, plus Heliolisk and Vinonat. Lastly, Wingle and Purloin. You are safe. The bottom two, Tyrant and Relicomp. All right, everyone that has received a ticket, please leave the room. You will not be informed of who was eliminated until the ceremony is over, which means no goodbyes. Tyrant, you shut off the power in your team's mansion, contributing quite a bit to their ultimate demise. Relicomp, you speaking while you were supposed to be a corpse caused your team to lose. The final ticket goes to... Relicomp. What? You seriously are keeping him over me? Oh, wh whatever. I hated all of you anyway. Well, will the final ten alliance last? Will Phoebus ask out Tertoga, and will Heliolisk and Venonat break up again? Probably. Find out on the next. Total. Pokemon? Action.